Welcome back, welcome back. You're on your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on S3. And oh my love, it's only the first hour and already we're having so much fun. And especially because of the guests that we have today. Now, this man right here that is in front of me, my friend, he lives by the motto that family over everything for what a man leaves behind is his legacy and that is what matters. Mm -hmm. And honestly and truly, I feel like when we talk about people who are killing it in the acting space, in the TV presenting space, even in the model space, honey, he is at the top and he is doing doing his damn thing. I am talking about none other than, please express a family welcome, it is Tino <laughs> Chignani! Tino, how are you? I'm fantastic. You are such a hype man. Uh, you got I, me I, blushing out here early in the morning. Don't do that. Did I lie? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> exactly. You didn't. You didn't. I appreciate the truth. We appreciate you waking mm. up for us. Thank you so no, much. No, thank sir. you for having me. I really do appreciate of it. Course. It's good to see you, Zan. It's good to see you too, <laughs> Tino. But let's jump on into it because you have a beautiful story to tell. Definitely. I mean, from the very beginning, you've always been a go-getter. At school, you were achieving in sports and all these things. So, Tino, I want you to stunt on us very quickly. <laughs> tell us about those things that you were achieving in school. You yeah. know, the ones that kind of stuck out. Don't take me back. Come like, on. I am a grown man. Like, you want to take me back to those days? <laughs> yeah. But uh, truly some of the happiest days of my life. Mm. I, I think genuinely my passion for life, for people, uh, for just being a go-getter just started right there and there. Yeah. Um, I've always been somebody that's very driven, somebody that's very hungry. Uh, and yeah. I'm a big person on goals. So once I set my mind to something, it's just, let's get it. So coming up from a history of basketball, rugby, I was big on the sports field, you know. Come on. I think it was a good way to keep me out of trouble as well because I had too much energy for my own mm. good and I see it as well in my son like he's definitely following in my footsteps yeah. but I think it's more so something that um, it made me feel alive it made me truly feel alive and I think the accolades deputy head boy all of that um, yes. representing my country mm. uh, being captain cut full colors all of that just stemmed from just being passionate about what I'm about yeah. I love it deputy head boy full colors okay <laughs> you know we're sorry <laughs> but I mean now you're yeah. out in the real world mm. doing even more than you ever thought you would would. One of the biggest things you're doing is television. Definitely. Was this always a dream for you? To be honest, no. Mm. Um, entertainment was never something I actually saw myself in. Um, as I said, coming from my history from high school, yeah. I always saw myself being a professional athlete. But really? the reality of it is, black parents don't don't they don't. No, 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 my baby is like an engineer and accountant. You know what I'm saying? The, the traditional yes. route. So. Um, coming into entertainment was actually um, something that stumbled upon me. Um, I had yeah. a friend, Donald, he was a photographer at the time, and he said, you've got the look, you've got the height, you've got the smile for it, oh. give it a chance. And it was so funny because I actually thought this gent was going to kidnap me. I was like, I, I, hey, I, I, you just you want know. to take pictures <laughs> of me? No, 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 I don't trust you. I'm about to get traffic. Yes. So I went with my best friend, but long story short, the shoot went fantastically well. Mm. We submitted the pictures. Boss called me, uh, Boss Models, my agency, called me in immediately. And the rest is history. So it was a quick transition for modeling because after I got the platform, uh, did billboards all over yes. the world, uh, traveled to Paris, did a Gagne campaign, Ooh. all over Africa. Um, it was now I wanted something that gave me an opportunity to tell my story and show my personality a bit mm. more. And then TV came into place. And... <laughs> It's been a great journey, man. I can't lie to you. An amazing journey. I mean, you've done so much already in such a short amount of time. But take us back to that story of bus models finding you. Where did they find your pictures? Uh, so basically, it was a situation of I had actually posted them online. Mm -hmm. And then a friend was like, you need to submit these to an agency. Don't just make it for social media. And I was like, oh, OK. So they actually have a submission platform. And I submitted. But literally, I can't even lie to you. Within 24 hours, I'd heard back. They Must wanted be me for it. <laughs> I mean, it's the grace. It's the grace yes. of God. I really do thank God for a lot of my success. You know, like he is my pillar of faith. But ultimately, it was just that they called me in and they loved me on spot and they were yes. like, yeah, let's let's get to it quickly, quickly. Yeah. And how you got to work? Because, like <laughs> you say, you've done billboards, you've gone all over the world. Yeah. But now, speak to us about this because you've done so much. Yeah. What goals do you still have that you want to achieve? Oof. Um, my, my ultimate goal right now is being a great father. I think Aww. that's something that really resonates with me. <laughs> yeah. I always told myself I could fail at anything else, but as long as I'm a great father, I can live with myself. Yeah. So amongst that, um, definitely you're going to see me on your TV a lot more. Okay. The music is booming. Oh, my word. Oh, my Lord. You you're guys making are... music? Oh, you have no idea. Okay, you, have you no know. Idea, darling. Um, uh, we've got a beautiful project coming up right now with Manu World Star. Uh, produced Hectic. by Buga M Beats, um, but a lot of beautiful visuals. I mean, we were actually in studio last Friday shooting the music video. Mm -hmm. 
um, but uh, keep keep your keep your eyes and ears open. It's going to be an exciting year. It's going to be a very exciting year. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be exciting because not only did you just tell us about the music, but now yeah. you also have your clothing brand. Oh yeah. Yes, and yes, I feel like yes, that's just yes. a different way to express yourself. But yeah, why was it important for you to start your clothing brand? Um, for me, especially coming from the modeling background, mm. I fell in love with textures, with fabrics, oh. with the stories behind fashion. You know. Um, there's so many beautiful perspectives on life that you can see from fashion. And even when you talk to some of these designers, yes. they can really shift your perspective of the way you look at life. And I just wanted to be able to express myself beyond just talking, beyond just singing, beyond just uh, being on TV. But if it was even just if I said nothing at all, yeah. the way I dressed and presented myself should tell you everything about me. Come on. And then I just wanted to share that passion with the rest of the world. And mm. hence the Tiani brand was born. Oh, yeah. it, and it's such a beautiful brand. Well <laughs> done you. on it. I know I it's not easy to start something uh, like that. But that's 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 where the magic is, and a Come lot of people on. forget that. Just start, you know. Yeah. That you don't have to have it all figured out. You don't have to have all the pieces together. But as long as you start, there's progress. And that's what means everything. Oh, come on. Okay. I, I mean, you already started there with the I mean, motivational words you know, and sorry, everything. You know. and I love it. You look amazing. <laughs> but you. But if you had to say something yeah. to any young person out there who's looking up to you and says, one yeah. day I want to be like Tina Chinani, yeah. what would you say to them? Have a pillar. Have, have a strong foundation, guys. Um, sure. Whether it be family, whether it be the God that is above you, mm. you have to have something that you lean into because it's, it's rough on this, on this journey, you know? Yes. This, this, uh, the journey is never linear. And a lot of people forget that there's a lot more drawbacks and there's a lot of resistance when you're chasing your dreams. So make sure that above and beyond everything, you've got a beautiful support system mm. that always holds you down, even when things are crazy. I, and your support system is all beautiful. <laughs> no, hey, one of the best. I love it. <laughs> Tito, you are incredible. And I'm so Thank glad you're not going anywhere because yeah. we get to get into more things. I, I, thought, I thought I was leaving. No, no, ah, uh, 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 so, uh, uh, my brother. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Hey, was... Tino, Tino knows exactly what's coming <laughs> up. And I'm actually scared of what's going to happen. You need to stick around, Expresso family. But right about now, we got to cross over to Cape Town because we've got the family standing by in the lounge.